In this presentation, we will use tax software to run some examples related to adjustments for one half of self-employment income. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. Here we are on our test 1040 where we have our single individual and no dependents, the basic return. If we go then to page two, we can see that we do have 40,000 of income, but it's not W2 income. The income is reported from Schedule 1. So if we go to Schedule 1 then to see where that 40,000 is, it's from business income. So we got Schedule C or, e, or Schedule C EZ. So the 40,000 is coming from the Schedule C. This is typically going to be our normal business income where we would where we would report the business income minus the expenses and then bring over this 40,000 to line 12 of the schedule 1 that being included in income then going to 1040 on page 2 to be included in the total income amount. We then see that the 40,000 is different than the adjusted gross income and we, that difference will be reported on Schedule 1. So if we go back to Schedule 1, we have the 40000 of other income or, or additional income. If we scroll down, we've got line 27, deductible part of self-employment tax. So we'll have to think about, okay, what is that deductible part of self-employment tax? We'll go to Schedule SE to take a look at that. Before we do, however, let's go back to the 1040, page 2. That brings us to the 37,174 of adjusted gross income. We then take away the standard deduction or itemized standard in this case for the single individual to bring us down to the taxable income of 25,174. We then have the tax of 2,831, this being calculated in accordance with the tables. And then we have this additional tax down here, other taxes, which is on schedule four. So note, note what we have now, two types of taxes. We've got this tax that we calculated, and then we've got this added tax to get to the total tax of 8,483. Now we need to head over to Schedule 4 to see what this number came from, and we see Schedule 4 is populated, so we're going to look where that 5,652 came from in Schedule 4. We see that it is the self-employment tax. So self-employment tax calculation came from the schedule ESE. So this 5,652 came from the schedule SE as well as the schedule one portion of the deduction here for the for the deductible part of the self-employment tax. Now let's go to schedule SE. So if we go over to schedule SE, this will be the self-employment tax calculation. We see a little questionnaire you can read through to see if it is applicable. We have the Schedule C income, which is applicable, and then we can go through the calculation of the net income from the Schedule C and the calculation of the self-employment tax on it, as we see in the descriptions below. In essence, in essence, if we take a look at this from the total tax, 5652, that has been calculated and divided by the 36, 36940, we get about 15.3%, about 15.3%. So we've got the 40,000 that is adjustment per line four to the 36,940, and then we're taking about 15.3 is in essence the total tax. So there is the tax calculation that we had to include, and we're paying that. We're paying that tax on it. If we take that amount and then, of course, divide it by two, if we take the 5,652 divided by two, half of it, we also get a deduction for it. So remember, the deduction is not as much as the amount we have to pay. We have to pay dollar for dollar, 5,652, not for federal income taxes, but for payroll taxes, in essence, the equivalent portion for self-employed individuals, the taxes related to FICA or Social Security and Medicare. But then we also, and we needed this calculation in order to calculate what those taxes should be. And then we also get to deduct half of it, not on the Schedule C, but on page one of the 1040. So then if we go back to the, the 1040 and then schedule one of the 1040, we'll then see here's where that 2,826 was. So we had 40,000, we subtracted out to 2,826, which is half of the self-employment tax that was calculated. 
and that's going to be what we use to get to page 2 of the 1040, this 37,174. And then we also see the 5,652, that being the total calculation for the self-employment tax. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.